besties welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well you know taking care and today i have yet another jewelry tutorial but this time we're gonna use some chain that i got to make a beautiful butterfly chain necklace i really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always remember to like subscribe share this video with a friend now let's get on with the tutorial these are the materials that you're going to need first of all you need some chain this is the chain I will be using, but you can use whichever chain you prefer. Also, a pendant of your choice since this is a butterfly chain necklace, I chose a beautiful crystal butterfly. Now for the findings, you will need some jump rings, a lobster clasp, and I use some wire instead of an eye pin because the hole of the pendant is too big for my eye pin and needle pin, so I use this one instead. And of course, as usual, you will need your basic jewelry pliers. Now for the first step is to cut your chain. Lengthwise, it depends on if you want a choker type of necklace or you want a much longer necklace. I went for a choker type because that's my preferred style, but it's up to you. So I cut around 16 inches and I also used this bead board as my guide. Now for the cutting, when cutting a chain, I didn't have like a chain cutter I try to use normal pair of cutters didn't work so i ended up using two pliers and then pulling them on opposite sides like how you would open a jump ring and that made it break so yeah that's the way i cut it but yeah we need better pliers so for cutting this piece of wire for the pendant i had a little bit of a struggle but i did it and i didn't use a specific length but you can if you want to as i attempted to strain out the wire i pulled too hard and i almost broke my phone but we're gonna ignore that honestly straining out wire with like these pliers is not really my thing however i ended up just using regular pliers or just my fingers because this wire is very very flexible so this is the most i did with that wire to make it look as straight as possible because if not the pendant will look sideways you know it has to look good so in this part i started adding the pendant however i haven't made any loops yet so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do one loop down and one loop up just your normal loop with your round nose pliers now we add the pendant and we do another loop above but to do that loop you're gonna want to first make your adjustments make sure that loop looks good make any adjustments that you need it takes a lot of patience and practice now to create the other loop first you want to want to bend that wire to the side make it look like an l then you're going to cut off some excess just cut it halfway just you need enough space to create your loop it depends on the size of the loop that you're going to create after the so necessary cuts you take your round nose pliers and you pinch the tip of the wire it sounds weird but you do and you just bend it towards you and that's it you have a nice loop loops take practice they don't have to look perfect they just have to look pretty nice if you see me in most of my videos i'm always adjusting the loop after it's made it's because sometimes the gap left is a little bit too big and the jump ring or cord you hang it on or the chain you hang it on might come out and i don't want that like you don't want your pendant to fall off I also made sure that both loops were facing the same way that's an easy adjustment and now you just open your jump ring add it on and close it you know opening and closing jump rings it is very very simple sometimes it can be a little tricky to get a good grip with your pliers but you can do it now I just keep adding the necessary jump rings to the chain to both sides I like to always show in a detailed way so you can actually see and appreciate how it is done like i really want to help you all learn and as you can see right here i just added my lobster clasp to have one of these sides ready and to prepare the other side too it all can also depend on the kind of clasp that we use but we all know that the lobster clasp is one of the most common and easiest to use clasp but there's also magnetic there's toggle clasp there is like barrel clasp that are literally those barrel clasps that i'm talking about i have them you kind of screw them on so in one of the videos i'm probably gonna make soon is talking all about the different kinds of clasp and how to use them so when i attach the pendant to the chain 
What happened is I attached it to one specific link of the chain and this is what happened. It wasn't centered but it's better just to put the jump ring and leave it loosely around the necklace to move along like this. I gotta say this necklace is simple, easy to make and it's beautiful. The crystal butterfly really gives it an outstanding look and I think it's also very trendy and a little bit different. Oh, that is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Remember to leave any questions in the comments. I will gladly respond to them. And I will see you all next Saturday. Bye!